Hey guys, welcome. My name is Tennessee. Uh, today I'm going to bring you a sacral chakra flow. So think your hips, your low back, um, maybe a little bit of twisting, um, working into that lower belly uh, point, access point. That's your second chakra. So your sacral is associated to the color orange, um, but it also is your I feel space. So it's where you house your emotions, your desires, your sexuality, also known as your mother womb. So we're really going to tap in to kind of help activate that chakra or open it up if you feel kind of stagnant. Um, your body's always trying to communicate with you. So if you feel like you have constant low back pain or you have tight hips or you have hip pain, that's usually associated to a block into your chakra or into your sacral chakra. So we're gonna help warm that up today, open it up, kind of help move that energy, any stuck energy through, allow that energy to kind of free flow, um, and then let that feel real good. So with that said, I always start my classes with a chakra clearing. Again, if you don't know what chakras are, there's seven energy sources throughout your body. They start at the base of your spine and they work their way up through the crown of your head. So I just want you to check in, notice what feels good, notice of any discomforts, getting out of your head into your body, whether that be through your posture, the, or the posture or your breath. So with that said, let's start in a, we're gonna start in a, um, a Baddha Konasana, so a butterfly pose. So I just want you to, you can face for, towards me, you can face to the top of your mat. I want you to um, bring the soles of your feet together, just your knees out wide. You can interlace your fingers to the blades of your feet and just sit up tall. Now, if this is too much for you, if you have blocks, you can place your blocks just underneath your knees, allowing the earth to, to help uh, guide you, support you, bring it a little bit higher up for you. Otherwise, work your way to your uh, body kanasana. Interlace your fingers to the blades of your feet. Inhale, sit up tall. Audible exhale, let that go. Let's do that again. Inhale, completely fill up. Audible exhale, release. This time, inhale through your nose. Find a constriction in the back of your throat and just exhale through your nose. See if you can make your inhale the same length as it is your exhale with the same intensity. I want you to carry this breath throughout your practice today through each posture, through each movement as we go through. Now just start to clear your mind and come to the base of your spine, to your root chakra, your first chakra. This is your I am space, your foundation, your safety, your security. This is where everything starts. I just want you to check in, notice what feels good, notice of any discomfort. Now on your inhale, take your focus, your energy awareness into your second chakra, the space below your belly button, your sacral, your I feel space, where you house your emotions, your desires, your sexuality. Now gently draw your energy up into your third chakra, the space above your belly button, your solar plexus, your I do space. This is what drives you, where your passions, your creativity, your power all lie. Now slowly start to work your energy up into your fourth chakra, your heart, your I love space, space of relationships, self-acceptance, and unconditional love. Now gently guide your energy into your fifth chakra, your throat, your I speak space, space of communication, your truth. Now move your energy up into your sixth chakra, the space just between your eyebrows, your I see space, your space of intuition, your third eye. And then finally, take your focus, your energy awareness all the way above your head to your seventh chakra, your crown chakra, your I understand space, your path to enlightenment. Now I want you to draw your energy all the way down to the base of your spine and then inhale it through the seven chakras through the crown of your head. Notice if anything gets stuck, of any discomforts, or if it feels good. Work to bring your focus, your energy awareness to those areas throughout your class today. One big clearing breath in. Audible exhale, let that go. Let's do that again. Inhale, clear in. Audible exhale, release. 
Nice work, guys. Take your hands underneath your thighs, bring your knees back up into your midline, cross at your ankles, work your way inches to a tabletop. So stacking your shoulders to your wrist, hips in line with your knees, your belly button pulls into spine. Option to ground through the tops of your feet, option to tuck your toes under. Inhale, cow pose. Take your gaze up as you draw your bellies down. Exhale, cat. Tuck in, round up. Pull your hip bones up to your rib cage. Dome up through your shoulder blades. Pull your chin into your chest. Maybe rock forward and back. Maybe add some movement side to side, left to right. You can add barrel rolls. Let, warming up the back, let that feel good. Inhale, cow pose. Gaze up, bellies down. And then exhale, cat. Tuck in, round up. Let's do one more round here, inhaling cow. And then exhaling cat. Slowly work your way back to your neutral spine. Inhale, right arm extends up, gaze up. Exhale, thread your needle. Send your right arm underneath your left. Draw your right cheek down. Now you have options here to keep your hips lifted. Option to pull your hips back on top of your heels. Option to extend your left leg out to your left side in line with your hip. Option for a half bind to the small of your back or to the inside of your hip crease on your right side. Inhale, slowly work your way back. Plant your left hand underneath your left shoulder. Draw your left knee in if it's out. Inhale, right arm extends up, gaze up, hold. Find wrist circles forward and back. Exhale, tabletop. Gently extend your left arm up, gaze up. Exhale, thread your needle. Send your left arm underneath your right. Draw your left cheek down. Again, you have your options. Keep your hips lifted. Pull your hips back. Option to extend your right leg out to your right side. Option for your half or full bind. Breathe. Don't hold your breath. One more breath here. Inhale, slowly bring everything back into your midline. Extend your left arm up, gaze up, hold here. Find those wrist circles forward and back. Exhale, tabletop. Go ahead and shift your hips back to a child's pose. Bring your knees out wide, toes to touch. Just draw your third eye down to your mat. Reach, extend to the top of your mat, breathe. Maybe shift your hips side to side. Let that feel good, opening up through the hips, through the low back. You have one more breath. Slowly come all the way back into your tabletop. Tuck your toes under, lift your tailbone up, find a downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Your first down dog of your class, feet are about hip width distance. You can bend your knees as much as you need to. Find an external rotation through your upper thighs, sending your tailbone up, lengthening through the crown of your head. Belly button always pulling into spine, grounding through your first finger and your thumb. Now inhale, come up onto your tippy toes, roll into your high plank and hold it here. Stack your shoulders to your elbows, elbows to your wrist. Option to draw your knees down if this is too much. Keep the pelvis tucked under. A little bit slightly rounding through your shoulder blades. Exhale, downward facing dog. Adho Svanasana. Breathe. Let's do that again. Inhale, come back up onto your tippy toes. Roll into your high plank. Option to lower to your knees. Now this time, if you're lower to your knees, can you lift your knees to a hover and pull your torso back towards your thighs? Arms are straight, find bear pose. Inhale, lift your tailbone high. Exhale, roll back forward, rounding through your spine, feeling that through every vertebra of your spine. Draw your knees down, pull your torso back. Find that fluid motion on your own. Really warming up through the back. Give me about one more round here. And then slowly work your way back to your high plank. This time lower all the way down to your belly. Untuck your toes. Ground through the tops of your feet, through your hip bones. Inhale, Bhujangasana Cobra. Lift your chest up. Hug your elbows back. Shoulders melt away. Barely any weight in my hands. Exhale, for, or draw all the way back down. Tap your head to the mat. Inhale, lift it up, Bhujangasana Cobra. Exhale, slowly lower. 
This time, inhale, cobra locust. Hands and feet lift up off your mat. Keep grounding through your hip bones in the soft part of your belly. Option to stay here. Option to just pull your arms back behind, palms face down. Option for a bound locust. Interlace your hands, lift your chest a little higher. Take your gaze slightly ahead. Keep lifting up, one more breath. Exhale, slowly release. Plant your hands back underneath your shoulders. Tuck your toes under. Come up onto your knees. Lift your tailbone high. Find your downward facing dog, Adho Mudra Svanasana. Maybe pedal out your feet. Breathe. Now take your gaze to the top of your mat. Come up onto your tippy toes. Walk your feet to meet your hands. Find a forward fold, Uttanasana. Ragdoll pose, reach for opposite elbows. Sway your bodies left to right. Maybe nod your head yes or no. Let your head hang heavy. Again, bend your knees as much as you need to. Release the tension through the small of the back and the back of your legs. Now just draw your hands down towards your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, belly button pulls into spine. Shoulders melt away from your ears, palms facing in towards your shin bones. Exhale, forward fold. Let's do that again. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Now try not to round up through your spine here. Try not to just dump down. So you're extending through the crown of your head. Your belly draws in, torso leads. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, arms sweep all the way up. Bring your palms close towards one another. Look up between your hands. Draw your hands down to your heart center. Inhale, exhale, Tadasana, hands by your side, palms are facing forward. Nice work, guys. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, bring your arms all the way above your head. Take your gaze up. Exhale, forward fold or swan dive all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, just plant your hands down. Step your right foot back behind. Draw your right knee down to your mat. Your front knee stacks to your front ankle. Untuck your back toes. Inhale, Anjane Asana, low crescent lunge. So again, your back knee draws down, front knee stacks. Hip shoulders are square to the top of your mat. Pull your hips down and forward. Chest is lifted. Take your gaze slightly up between your hands. And then exhale, plant your hands to frame your front foot. Tuck your back toes under. Lift your back knee. Sweep your left leg back behind to your high plank. Again, you have option to come to your knees and just lower all the way down to your belly. Inhale, Bhujangasana Cobra. Lift up, hug back. Exhale, tuck your toes under. Lift it up, downward facing dog, Adho Mudra Inhale, right heel rises. Send your heel high, keep your hips square. Fingers are always spread wide. Exhale, step to the inside of your right hand. This time, draw your left knee down, untuck your left toe, your front knee stacks to your front ankle. Inhale, arms sweep up. Anjane Asana, low crescent lunge. Breathe here. Exhale, plant your hands, spray your front foot, tuck your back toes under. This time, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, arms sweep all the way up. Look up between your hands. Exhale, hands down to your heart center. Inhale, exhale, Tadasana. Good, guys, let's do that again. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, reach all the way up. Look up, exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant your hand. This time, take your left foot back behind. Draw your left knee down, front knee stacks to your front ankle. Inhale, Anjane Asana, low crescent lunge. Pull your hips down and forward, chest is lifted, shoulders melt away. Take your gaze up between your hands. Exhale, plant your hands, tuck your back toes under, lift your back leg. Sweep your right foot back behind to your high plank or down to your knees. Draw all the way down to your bellies. Inhale, Bhujangasana, Cobra. Lift up, hug back. Exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Mukhasvanasana. Inhale, left heel rises. Exhale, Anjane Asana, low crescent lunge, steps the inside of your left hand, draw your back knee down, untuck your back toes, your front knee stacks, arms sweep up. Again, pull your hips down and forward, chest is lifted, gaze up. Exhale, plant your hands, frame your front foot, tuck your back toes under, lift through your back knee, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, arms sweep all the way up. Look up between your hands. Exhale, draw your hands onto your heart center. Inhale, 
Exhale, Tadasana. Nice work, guys. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Sweep all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands down. Step or jump back to your high plank. And then lower halfway down. Chaturanga Dandasana. Now, elbows are stacked to your wrists. Option again to come all the way down to your bellies. Inhale, Bhujangasana, Cobra, or Upward Facing Dog. Now, if you're in your Upward Facing Dog, you're coming down to Chaturanga. Tuck on top your toes, round to the tops of your feet. Your knees and hips are lifted. Arms are straight. Heart shines forward. Gaze ahead. Shoulders are melted away. So I'm not tucking up. I'm not crunching in here. But you're lifting, squeezing, and then exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Adhamukhasvanasana, breathe. Whew. Now again, pedal out your feet, do what feels good. Add any movement you need in your body. Don't be afraid to move your body the way it feels good. Take your gaze back to the top of your mat. Step or jump, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, arms sweep up, look up between your hands. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step or jump, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward dog or a cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Breathe here. Good. One more breath. Take your gaze back to the top of your mat, step or jump, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. So just heel toe, if your feet are hip width, heel toe your toes to touch. Knees to touch, draw your tailbone back and down, belly button pulls in, chest is lifted, arms sweep up. So now check your knees, make sure they're behind your big toes. If they're pulling forward or you're shifting forward, I want you to send your hips forward, or back and down. Gaze up between your hands, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, sit back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Again, option to lower all the way down, Option, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. This time, inhale, right heel rise. Exhale, warrior one. Step to the inside of your right hand. Now your back foot steps into a 45 degree angle. Your front knee stacks to your front ankle. Inhale, arms sweep up. So in your warrior one, your back heel is not lifted. So you wanna pull it down, square your hips and shoulders, uh, and then your arms are strong. Now take your gaze up between your hands. Exhale, play it down, sit it back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left heel rises. Exhale, warrior one. Step to the inside of your left hand. Your back foot steps into a 45, front knee stacks, hip shoulders are square, arms are strong. Look up between your hands, exhale, Plant it down, send it back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog, breathe. Whew. Now we're gonna add on to that. So again, take your gaze to the top of your mat. Step or jump to Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, sink your tailbone back and down, squeeze your inner thighs, arms sweep up. Look up between your hands. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant down, send it back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right heel rises. Exhale, step to the inside of your right hand, warrior one, Virabhajasana one. Ground through the blade of your back foot, front knee steps, arms sweep up. Now really sink it to your front thigh here, belly button pulls in, chest is lifted, square your hips and shoulders. Now look up between your hands, exhale, open up warrior two. So just to adjust your stance wide, ground through the blade of your back foot, work for the heel to heel or heel to arch alignment. Your front knee stacks to your front ankle, sink into the front thigh. Hips and shoulders are, are open towards the side of your mat, gaze down your front middle finger, breathe. Can you sink further into the front thigh? Whew. Inhale, reverse your warrior two. Reach, extend forward. Send your right arm up and back, left arm down. Feel that stretch through your right side. Exhale, extended side angle. So cartwheel your right hand to the inside of your ankle. Now you have option here. You can take a block 
and place it to the inside of your ankle and just press your hand here. Leave your left arm extending up. You can also take your forearm on top of your thigh, extend your left arm up, over, creating that long line from your pinky to your pinky toe, or work for your half or full bind. If you've got the half bind, take your hand to the small of your back. If you've got the full bind, take your hand to the inside of your right thigh. Only if it touches the inside of your right thigh do you take your full bind. Wrapping your right arm underneath, grabbing for your hand, and then work your shoulders back to stack, lifting up with the external oblique. Breathe. One more breath. Now exhale, release your bind. Go ahead and remove your block if you've got it. Draw your hands to the side edge of your mat. Rotate your right toes in. Find a prasarita patatanasana wide forward fold. Now walk your hand shoulder width distance in between your feet. Crown of your head down, torso into your thighs. Breathe. You can bend your knees as much as you need to. You can let this feel good, shifting weight side to side. Breathe. You should feel this in through your hammies, your hammy tie-in. You have one more breath. Now slowly take your gaze to the top of your mat and just crawl your weight forward to the top of your mat. You're pivot, pivoting on your right heel, so your toes are facing forward, and then pivot on your ball of your back foot. Plant both hands to the inside of your right foot, find your dragon lunge. So again, shift your weight forward. Feel that movement into your body. Good. And then slowly lower your left knee down, untuck your left toes. Keep hugging your right knee into your shoulder. Option to stay lifted, option to always come down to your forearms, taking a block or all the way down to your mat. Just keep hugging your right knee in. You have one more breath. Exhale, twisted dragon. Heel toe your right foot out to a 45. Come onto the blade of your right foot. Keep drawing your hips down and forward. Gently press your knee out to the side as you take your gaze up over your right shoulder. Breathe. Option for the King Arthur stretch. Plant your right toes down, sweep your right arm back, grab the, for the outside blade of your left foot, and pull it up into your glute. Now again, if this is too much, don't worry about it. Stay where you're at. Don't, don't think that you have to go to the deepest expression. You do not. You have one more breath. Exhale, if you've got your foot, go ahead and release your back foot. Heel toe your front foot to the middle of your mat. And then shift your hips back, find a half splits. Ardha Hanumanasana. Now, keep your hips lifted, stack to your back knee. Flex your front toes towards your shin. Again, you have your options for blocks to bring the ground up here. You wanna lead with your torso to the top of your thigh. Hinging from your hips, belly button pulls in. We have one more breath. Slowly plant your right foot down. Tuck your back toes under, frame your front foot with both hands, and then shift your weight forward, find your standing split. So send your left heel high. Again, you have your option to place your blocks, framing your front foot, hands on your blocks, walk your hands further back, pull your forehead closer to your shin, you have an option for a bind, right hand to your calf. Whew, breathe, fight for it. Get out of your head, get into your body, yes you can. You have one more breath here. Step back, high crescent lunge. So your back heels lifted, front knee stacks to your front ankle, arms sweep up. Whew, pull your hips down and forward, chest is lifted, square your hips to the top of your mat. Take your gaze up between your hands. Exhale, plant your hands, send it back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Adhukushvanasana, breathe. Pedal at your feet, let that go. One more breath. Ooh. Inhale, left heel rises. Exhale, warrior one. Step to the inside of your left hand. Slightly step your right foot into a 45. Hips, shoulders are square, arms are strong. Sinking into your front thigh. Look up between your hands. Exhale, open up, warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. Again, adjust your stance wide. Ground through the blade of your back foot, work for the heel to heel or heel arch alignment. Your front knee stacks to your front ankle. Find the external rotation in your upper thigh and then sink down. Arms are strong, gaze down your front middle finger. Inhale, reverse your warrior two. Reach, extend forward. Exhale, send your left arm up and back, right arm down. Breathe. 
Good. Exhale, extended side angle. Cartwheel your left hand to the inside of your ankle. Again, you have option four, a block here. Other option for them to five, option to extend straight up, over, half, or full bind. Whatever you took on your right, you want to take it on your other side. Work your shoulders back to stack. Breathe. One more breath. Now, if you're in your full bind, go ahead and release your full bind. Exhale, wide forward fold. Pivot your left toes in towards your midline. And then again, walk your hand shoulder width distance in between your feet. Torso in between your thighs, crowning your head down. Again, you have, now you have an option here. You can uh, take, your, take a bind, if that feels good for you. You can take a twist in your spine, left to right. Um, if you're a more advanced yogi, you can find your way into a tripod headstand, if that's in your practice. Otherwise, just stay where you're at and breathe. Adding any movement you need. You have one more breath. Good, now just take your gaze to the top of your mat, crawl your way forward, pivoting on your front foot and your back, find your way to your dragon lunge. Planting both hands to the inside of your left foot, hug your left knee in, then lower your right knee down, untuck your back toes, keep pulling your hips down and forward. Again, you have your options to come all the way down to your forearms, option for your block underneath your forearms or your third eye, breathe. Breathe here. Exhale, twisted dragon. Heel toe your left foot out to a 45, coming onto the blade of your left foot. Gently press your knee out as you take your gaze up over your left shoulder. Again, keep pulling your hips down and forward. Now again, option for your twist or your King Arthur stretch, reaching breath, grabbing the outside blade of your right foot and pull it up into your glute. One more breath. Exhale, slowly release your back foot if you've got it. And then heel toe your left foot to the middle of your mat. Shift your hips back, find a half splits, Ardha Hana Manasana. Again, try to keep your hips lifted to the back knee. Try not to shift down here, but extend. And you're leading with your torso to the top of your thigh. Flexing toes back, again, option for your blocks always. Breathe here. Let that feel good through your hammy tie-in. One more breath. Slowly draw your left foot down, frame your front foot with both hands, tuck your back toes under, shift your weight forward, find your standing split, send your right heel high. Option for your blocks underneath your hands to bring the ground up, option to walk your hands further back to frame your front foot, placing your left hand to the back of your calf, forehead to your shin. Try to keep your hips square, try to turn your pinky toe back down or point your toes lifting up, but try not to open up the hip here. You have one more breath. Exhale, high crescent lunge. Step your right foot back, back heels lifted, front knee stacks, arms sweep up. Look up between your hands. Exhale, plant down, send it back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Breathe. Whew. Pedal at your feet, let that go. Now this time, take your gaze back to the top of your mat, step or jump Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, arms sweep all the way up. Take your gaze up. Exhale, hands down to your heart center. Inhale, exhale, Tadasana. Now keep facing forward to your mat. I'm just going to face you guys real quick. So inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, arms sweep all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Now draw your hands down to your mat. Bring your big toes to touch. Find double toe stamp. Come up onto your tippy toes. Pull your heels as high as you can to the balls of your feet. Squeeze your knees, inner thighs as you lower down to a hover. Hover your heels. Again, option for your blocks underneath your hands. Option to stay here. Option to bring your hands to your heart center. Shoulders stacked to your hips. Breathe. Belly button pulls into spine. Find the balance. Find the control. Everything activates in your core. So now, option to stay here. Option to bring your right knee out. Bring it in. Left knee pulls out, bring it in. Both knees pull out, heels to touch. Find the balance, find the control, and then take your pointer finger thumb, pinkies to your hip crease. Draw your elbows back, chest is lifted. Whew. Yes, you can. Get out of your head, get into your body. Dal doesn't belong in this space. This is not for you. You can do anything you put your mind to. One more breath. 
Nice work, guys. Slowly come all the way onto your backs. Whew, hug your knees up into your chest. Let that feel good. Maybe circle in and out. Releasing any of that tension, letting that go. And then slowly lower your heels down to your mat. Make sure that the soles of your, or the soles of your feet down heels are close enough to your sitting bones, knees are up. Now grounding through all four corners of your feet, find bridge pose set to Bandhasarvangasana. So you can place your hands out to the side, grounding in, lifting your hips all the way up, activating glutes, activating hamstrings. Now option to stay here, option for a bound bridge. Interlace your hands to the small of your back, roll your shoulders underneath your shoulder blades and keep pulling up. Breathe. Try not to constrict your breathing. Try not to tuck your chin totally in. Allow that airflow through, opening up through the throat. One more breath. Exhale, slowly release your bind if you're in it and lower your hips all the way down to your mat. Take your feet outside your mat and then knock your knees side to side, left to right, like windshield wipers, letting that go. Breathing here. Hug your knees back up into your chest. This time, rock and roll front to back the length of your spine. And then cross at your ankles and send it back, downward facing dog. Plant your hands, send your feet back, lift your tailbone high, torso to your thighs, breathe. Inhale, right heel rises. Exhale, half pigeon. Right knee to your right wrist. Parallel your shin to the top of your mat. And then draw your knee down. Untuck your back toes and then pull your knee or your torso down and forward. Now, you want to keep your hips in one line as you come into your half pigeon. So it's always really good to place a block underneath the right hip, underneath your outer hip. That way you have some support here. Sometimes this is the hardest posture for most people because you keep that tension into your hips or you keep the tightness into your hips, which is associated to your sacral, your I feel space. So once you've got it, you can lower all the way down. You can also place blocks underneath your forearms, underneath your third eye, as, as so, or you can just stay lifted, whatever feels good for you. Again, adding any movement you need into the hips, allowing that to release, breathing. You have one more breath. Now, if you're all the way down, plant your hands underneath your shoulders, lift your torso. If you've got a block, remove that to the top of your mat. Tuck your back toes under, lift your back knee, and then send your right heel high. Maybe add some hip circles in and out, releasing that tension, letting that go, and then slowly draw your right leg down to meet your left, paddle out your feet. This time, inhale, left heel high. Exhale, half pigeon, left knee to left wrist. Parallel your shin to the top of your mat and tuck your back toes. Again, pull your torso forward and slowly lower down. Option to place a block underneath your forearms. Again, option always underneath the hip. I like to place one underneath my hip anyway. Sometimes the tension can be a little bit too painful. And it's all about that sacral chakra, bringing that energy in, allowing it to release, moving stuck energy through the body. One more breath. Plant your hands down, tuck your back toes under, lift your back knee, and then again, sweep your left heel high, three-legged. Slowly lower it down to meet your right foot, pedal out your feet, breathe. Now just take your gaze to the top of your mat, come up onto your tippy toes, roll forward to your high plank, draw down to your knees if you need to, come all the way down to your belly. Plant your forearms down, finding sphinx pose. So you want to ground through the tops of your feet, through your hip bones. Activate the glutes, activate the thighs. Shoulders stack to elbows. Your fingers are spread wide. Inhale, pull your torso forward. Shoulders melt back and down. Take your gaze straight ahead. You should feel that into your low back. Breathe. Again, option to stay here. Option for seal, extending the arms straight. If this is too much for the low back, Stay down onto your forearms. If you're in your seal, try not to shrug up, but allow those shoulders to melt back and down. One more breath. Exhale, slowly lower back down if you're in seal. 
Otherwise, tuck your toes under, plant your hands underneath your shoulders, lift back up, find a downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet, breathe. Take your gaze to the top of your mat, cross at your ankles, find a seated position, Dandasana legs straight out in front of you. Whew, nice work, guys. Ground down through your sitting bones, lengthen through the crown of your head, belly button pulls in, chest is always lifted, inhale, arms reach all the way up. Exhale, Pajimottanasana, forward fold. Hinging from your hips as you lean forward. So try not to dump down here. We're extending, lengthening, hinging, and then lower down. Now you can bend your knees as much as you need to here. You can walk your hands down the outsides of your thighs. If you have a strap rock around the blades of your feet, walk down your midline. Um, if you need an extension, you can place the block past your feet. You can place it underneath your heels to elevate. I want you to breathe. Inhale to lengthen, and then exhale to deepen. So you can get a little bit further. One more breath. Inhale, slowly lift your torso back up. Exhale, Baddha Konasana. Bring the soles of your feet together, knees out wide. We were here at the beginning of class. Interlace your fingers to uh, the blades of your feet. So you can get a little bit deeper, pulling the knees down, chest is lifted. Inhale, extend, lengthen. And then exhale, find the forward fold. Bring your elbows to the outsides of your shins. Try not to round through your spine here, but extend, lengthen, hinge, and then work your forehead to your big toes. If this is too much, you can just always stay lifted. One more breath. Inhale, slowly lift back up. Just parallel your right shin to the top of your mat. Take your left foot over to your right thigh. So your left toes are now facing to the top of your mat. Keeping your left knee up, hugging into your chest. Plant your right hand outside your right hip. Or excuse me, your left hand outside your left hip. Inhale your right arm up. Exhale, find the twist in your spine, bringing your right elbow to the outside of your left knee. Find the twist, take your gaze back. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to deepen, see if you can get a little bit further in the twist. And then slowly come back to your midline and then switch it out. So parallel your right, left shin to the top of your mat. Take your right foot over your left thigh. Your toes face forward, your knee hugs in. Plant your right hand outside your right hip. Inhale, lengthen, extend, reach your left arm up. Exhale, elbow to the outside of your knee. Find a twist in your spine, and then take your gaze back. Inhale, slowly come all the way back into your midline. Lower all the way onto your backs. Find yourself a happy baby, sending the soles of your feet up. Flex your toes back towards your shin. Option to grab to the insides of your feet or the outside blades of your feet. If this is too much, you can always take your hands to your thighs and just press down. Plug your shoulder blades back and down. Try to keep your tailbone grounding. Maybe rock side to side, left to right. Make your baby feel happy. And then draw your knees back up into your chest. Give yourself a big hug. Apanasana, when you're leaving pose, option to reach for opposite elbows for a deeper compression. You want to extend your spine here, so pulling the back of your neck down. Try not to constrict your breathing. Release your bind. Bring your arms out to a T. Find your supine twist over to your right. Draw your knees over to your right side. And then take your gaze to your left. Work to keep your shoulders grounded. You can always find an eagle leg. You can always find a stack knee or a staggered knee. If you've got a staggered knee, meaning your knee is into your midline, you can place your right ankle on top of the knee and press down. Do whatever feels good for you. And then inhale, slowly come back into your midline. Exhale, supine twist over to your left, gaze to your right. Whatever variation you took on the other side, take on this side.
Inhale, slowly come back into your midline. Send your legs straight up to the ceiling. Find the legs up the wall. You can bend your knees as much as you need to. Flex your toes back. Allow the blood to drain down into your torso. Just surrender into your upper body, releasing any tension through your head, your neck, your jaw, your shoulders, your hips, your small back. Breathe. And then with core control, lower your heels down to the top of your mat. Once your heels touch the top of your mat, find yourself a good morning stretch. Inhale, reach your arms all the way above your head. Point your toes towards the front of your mat. Big inhale, hold it at the top. Audible exhale, release. Allow your hands to fall out to the side, palms face up. Close your eyes, work your way into your final shavasana. Now I want you to bring your focus into your sacral, your second chakra, the space below your belly button. And I want you to set the intention that we are in the same room and I'm hovering my hands over your sacral. I want you to allow universal life energy to come into your sacral, imagining the brightest orange light you've ever seen, spinning, clearing, releasing any stuck energy you're holding on to. Releasing any fears, any unwanted emotions, any unwanted generational trauma. Allowing that to just spread down through your hips, all the way through your feet, back into earth. Replacing anything you've released with unconditional love. Fulfilling every space through your sacral, your sacral chakra. Spinning, spinning and balancing, bringing it back to its fullest state. I want you to feel that love, energy in through the sacral chakra, balancing, releasing. And then send that energy up into your heart chakra, your fourth chakra. Inhale, completely fill up your lungs. Audible, exhale, let that go. Let's do that again. Inhale, completely fill up. Audible, exhale, release. When you're ready, come into a fetal position either on your right or your left side. Your right side is your masculine energy. Your left side is your feminine energy. And then slowly work your way up to an easy seated pose, just crossing at your ankles, lengthening through your spine, sitting up tall. Inhale, arms reach all the way above your head. Take all that good energy, bring it down into your heart center, your heart space, your fourth chakra. Inhale, your confidence, your love, your self-acceptance. And exhale, all your fears and doubts. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Namaste.